China could have prevented the deaths of hundreds of thousands of people worldwide. China could have spared the world a uh, descent into global economic malaise. They had a choice. But instead, instead China covered up the outbreak in Wuhan. Its National Health Commission ordered virus samples destroyed on January 3rd. China disappeared brave Chinese citizens who raised alarms. It deployed its propaganda organs to denounce those who politely called for simple transparency. And that brings us to today, 120 days on. China is still refusing to share the information we need to keep people safe, such as viral isolates, clinical specimens, and details about the many COVID-19 patients in December 2019, not to mention patient zero. Our truth-telling and calls for transparency aren't about politics. It's not about bullying. It's not about blame. It's about the ongoing need to save American lives. We still don't have the samples that we need. We still don't have the access. We collectively, the world, don't have the samples to me. It's not even just that in the moment uh, they couldn't do the right thing. They continue to be opaque. They continue to deny access for this important information that our research, our epidemiologists need. And importantly, uh, this could happen again. This, these are the kinds of risks. This is, why, this is why when I see people say, well, America is bullying the Chinese, we, we're demanding of them only what we demand of every nation, right? Be transparent, be open, be a reliable partner. The very things they say, the Chinese say they want to cooperate. Great. Cooperation is about action. It's about opening up. It's about sharing this information. So the details of where patient zero, where this began, are things that are knowledge that's in the possession of only the Chinese Communist Party. They're the ones that can help unlock that. If they need technical assistance, we're happy to provide that assistance to them. We do need, the world needs answers of these, to these questions uh, for not only the current moment, but so that we can make sure that we reduce the risk that something like this could ever happen again with thousands and thousands of lives lost and enormous economic cost to the entire world.